Hello everyone, in the previous video we have learnt how to solve separable differential equations. In this video we are going to learn the second type of first order first degree differential equations which are reducible to separable. So this type is called reducible to separable because the differential equations which we are going to solve in this particular type are not going to be separable in the original format but we can do some suitable substitution to reduce them to separable and then solve it. So let us learn the procedure for solving such equations through some illustrations. Look at this one. Suppose we need to solve the differential equation dy by dx equal to say x plus y plus 1. Now this differential equation is a first order first degree differential equation which cannot be separated. The right hand side function cannot be separated into a function of x times a function of y. So this is a mingled up expression in x and y which we cannot separate. But if we put say x plus y plus 1 equal to something, let's call that something as maybe z. Okay. So this z which we are introducing, we are calling x plus y plus 1 as z. So this z is now going to serve as the new dependent variable. So wherever my y is coming, I have to replace everything involving y in terms of z and the corresponding derivative dy by dx also needs to be replaced by its corresponding value in terms of dz by dx. So let's differentiate both the sides to relate the old derivative and the new derivative. The old derivative is dy by dx and the new derivative is dz by dx. So when we differentiate both sides with respect to x, then this, the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of y is dy by dx, derivative of a constant is 0 and this happens to be dz by dx. So that means the old derivative dy by dx is actually equal to the new derivative dz by dx minus 1. When we substitute this value in the given differential equation, the differential equation transforms into the following. The equation becomes the following. It becomes dz by dx minus 1 equal to now x plus y plus 1 has been substituted as z. So this in turn gives us that dz by dx is equal to z plus 1 and now it's a separable expression in z and x. You can see that the differential equation which was not separable to begin with with this substitution z equal to x plus y plus 1 equal to z has now turned into a separable differential equation in z and x. So now we can very easily solve it. How do we solve it? How do we solve separable differential equations? We take the terms involving one variable with the corresponding d integrate and the other variable with the corresponding d and integrate. When we integrate the left hand side this becomes log of z plus 1 and this becomes x plus c. So in a way we can say that z plus 1 is equal to e to the power x plus c but z was not the variable which was present in the given equation. z was something introduced by us for making the differential equation separable. So please do not forget to replace back the new variable by its original value. The variable z in the original variables has got this meaning z is equal to x plus y plus 1. So here it's x plus y plus 1, 1 plus 1 makes it 2 is equal to e to power x plus c is the required solution. So this is how we solve equations which do not fall in the category of separable equations to begin with but we can do some substitution to make them separable and that's the reason this category is called reducible to separable. Let's do one more problem of this type to get a better hold on the idea, look at this one, 2x plus 3y plus 1dx plus let's say 4x plus 6y plus 1dy equal to 0. Suppose we are required to solve this differential equation which effectively if I write in the dy by dx format, I can write it as dy by dx is 2x plus 3y plus 1 upon 4x plus 6y plus 1 with a negative sign. Now whenever you come across this kind of a differential equation where you have a linear in x and y above and a linear in x and y below with a condition, the condition is that the 
coefficient of x here and the coefficient of x in the denominator 2 by 4 if you take the ratio it's 2 by 4 that happens to be 1 by 2 is the same as the ratio of the coefficient of y above and below in such questions you can just put 2x plus 3y equal to z because when you do this substitution then the denominator 4x plus 6y becomes simply twice of z so whenever you see that the constants above and below are proportional it's a linear in x and y above and a linear in x and y below then putting one of the linear expressions as z the other one turns out to be in terms of z itself and making it separable on the right hand side in terms of z so let's see how this works 2x plus 3y equal to z let's relate the derivatives this means that 2x plus 3 dy by dx is dz by dx which means dz by dx minus 2 this whole divided by 1 by 3 is your old derivatives value in terms of the new derivative so let's put it here to see how it works dy by dx gets replaced by 1 by 3 dz by dx minus 2 and the right hand side let's see what does it become it's minus of this has been substituted as z so it's z plus 1 over here and then this becomes since the coefficients were proportional so this luckily you know uh, comes out in terms of z again making it separable on the right hand side it's only involving z so whenever you have a linear in x and y above and a linear in x and y below with coefficients being proportional above and below then this kind of substitution always works and makes it separable in the new variable and the independent variable so let's simplify it further to see how it moves ahead so 3 goes here to make it this and then there's a plus 2 which is waiting so you have dz by dx is equal to minus 3 of z plus 1 upon 2z plus 1 with a plus 2 here so let's simplify a little more to see how things shape in terms of z it's minus 3z minus 3 plus 4z plus 2 upon 2z plus 1 over here which boils down to 4z minus 3z is a z 2 minus 3 is a minus 1 and you have 2z plus 1 so bingo it has separated dz by dx is z minus 1 upon 2z plus 1 so it's a separable equation in z and x so you solve it the separable way you take the terms involving z with the dz integrate and there's nothing involving x so primarily you have a one on the right hand side you take it to the other side make it dx over here and then solve it the separable way now how do we solve this so what we can do to solve it is that uh, you can try and make a z minus one above by adding and subtracting two to the numerator the usual techniques of integration we are using here so that makes it 2z minus 2 so that's a 2z minus 1 plus 3 upon z minus 1 dz equal to integration of 1 with respect to x so this when we separate it's a 2z minus 1 cancels out with z minus 1 plus 3 upon z minus 1 dz if you want you can do it using partial fractions also one and the same thing uh, but this is a better way of handling it 2 integrated with respect to z gives you a 2z and here it's 3 log of z minus 1 this is x and then you have the constant of integration and in the end please do not forget to replace the value of z back by its original value so the solution takes the form 2 times 2x plus 3y plus 3 log 2x plus 3y minus 1 equal to x plus c and that's the end of the discussion on reducible to separable category in the next video we are going to learn the third type of first order first degree differential equations which is homogeneous differential equations thank you so much for watching everyone stay tuned